My name's Tyler Wilson, and this is my wife, Jill Massey, and I am 28 years old. We live in uh, Thorndale, Ontario, and um, this is our home. When I was first diagnosed with Crohn's disease in 2007, um, I was very sick, hospitalized, um, loose stools, bloody stools. Cramps. Cramps, um, severe pain. abdominal pain, uh, and from Weight loss. yeah, I lost 30 pounds in about two to three weeks. Um, so from that point on, I was uh, changed my life, uh, changed our social life, um, our family, sports, work. Um, there was weeks at a time where I couldn't go to work uh, from going to the bathroom, you know, sometimes up to 20, 25 times a day. Uh, there were certain times when uh, I was flare. in a flare uh, with my Crohn's disease that I'd have to wear uh, adult garments in order to get places because I was going to the bathroom so often. A few times even just getting into the hospital, um, I'd have to wear... Uh, diapers. Uh, when I was on the Imuran, um, we did research and there was a lot of research that uh, said that the Imuran could um, possibly cause certain forms of cancer. So that was always a concern for us when I was on the drug, uh, the repercussions of what would happen in the future from me taking high levels of Imuran and long-term prednisone, which is, causes osteoporosis. It's hard on your bones. Um, so that was always in the back of our heads, mine, especially when I was taking these, these medications, you know, what's gonna happen to me in 30 years as a result of what I'm doing now. At the time when I started the vaccine, I was on Imuran and prednisone, both which were not working for um, my disease. So I started the vaccine and within about seven days I started to notice uh, some changes. Uh, my improvements. pain, improvements, yeah. My pain uh, drastically stopped. And I just started to feel better. So it was about four, over four years I was on some type of drug for my Crohn's disease, whether it was prednisone or Imuran. And then after about three months of taking the vaccine, I was able to be off all uh, uh, conventional medicine. During those periods of time that I was on the drugs, never once did I go into remission. So that was like four years. Yeah, when I when I was on the Imuran, um, the doctors told me that I was not to reproduce, that there could be some complications. Um, so that was a huge disappointment in our life. Um, and it wasn't until the SSI vaccine that I was actually able to get off the Imuran. And uh, for the length of time uh, for us to start... A family. A family. So, with that being <laughs> said... <laughs> Hi. Hi. You're on film, baby girl. So thanks to the uh, SSI vaccine, we were able to have a, a beautiful daughter, Evely. And that was probably the best gift of all. Um, so I was on the SSI vaccine for 11 months and uh, I didn't have any symptoms of my Crohn's disease. Um, I've currently been off the SSI vaccine for eight months now and I haven't had any uh, signs of Crohn's disease. You had a scope done and there was no signs. Yeah, I had a scope done while I was on the SSI vaccine and the reports came back negative of any signs of Crohn's. There was a little bit of scarring, uh, which is proof that, you know, I was quite sick and I did have Crohn's disease, but uh, other than that, healthy colon. Uh, life now, uh, after the SSI treatment, has been a complete 180. Yeah. 
It's uh, we finally went on a vacation and you didn't get sick. Yep. So that was enjoyable. The SSI vaccine um, was created by Dr. Hal Gunn, and he is part of a company, Q Biologics, and we are both very, very, very grateful, thankful um, for everything that he's done for us um, and everybody who's been behind him. Uh, everybody who's kind of behind the scenes helping out, um, we are very, very grateful and thankful and hoping that it could help many, many other people in the future.